Part two guys, continuing on the N55 uh, water pump replacement. So it's on the ground now. This is the one that came out. Actually, there was nothing wrong with this one. It was this hose right here. Um, so anyways, <laughs> let's cover this first. You're gonna need that E12, like I said, to get to the top bolt right here. It's kind of a pain in the ass. Um, I use a swivel like that. Uh, I don't know if Snap-on makes a swiveling e-socket. Um, you know what I mean, right? Well, hold on a second. Let me show you. Let's just run through here real quick. Oh my God, crowded garage. Um, something, you know, like this, but it would have an, the e-style on the end, you know, the reverse Torx thing. So uh, if you've got that or, you know, you want to look for one, it'd be a little easier, give you a little bit more clearance underneath. Um, the other point, oh my god, let's take a quick look here. You can get to that bolt. Let me grab a quick flashlight so you guys can see what I'm talking about. All right, that bolt, there's the bottom two, right? Two water pumps. The top one is right up in there. Can't really see it. Let me see if I can get on it. No, I can't see it from there. Trust me, you can get the socket in through here between this front frame cross member. I went right through there and got to the top of it. Let me show you where the top of it is. Oh my God. There we go. Up there, right? So you can get to that screw up there or that, that well, yeah, that bolt when you get there through this side right here, right through there all right with a swivel on it um thermostat's still in the car it's hiding right there obviously i'm going to change out all the coolant hoses at the same time because this oil's obliterated everything now comes the worst freaking hose to get to you can see how the oil right degraded that one right and that one is the one that uh that one is the one that was obviously leaking, not the, not the water pump. Well, that hose actually does not have a clamp. Oh my God. And I have a bigger cat, which makes it a fucking problem. That hose is hooked to a steel pipe. That steel pipe is right there. Those are E8s. So you can come through the side of the car through this hole. Let me see if I can kind of give you a shot of what we would do. I don't know how the hell I'm gonna do this. Put my hand up through here or, or up alongside the cat up through there. Those screws up there, literally maybe 10 foot pounds of torque, nothing to them at all holding them on, right? I mean, there's an O-ring in behind that. So that is gonna be a bitch to get to with a big cat. This is a 200 cell, but uh, wow, it's gonna be a mother. I'll let you know how it goes. Um, that's BMW only also, by the way, that hose, and uh, usually takes a couple days to get, so keep all that shit in mind. Oh, um, man. <laughs> all right, well, that's today's tip, and I'll let you know how the rest of this goes and how the lower temp, uh, there's the thermostat right there. It's all covered in crap because of that front oil seal leak. So now, not only did we have the um, leak from the oil cooler, if you look up here, let me see if I can get the camera to get up going up in here. <clears throat> all right, there. Whenever you're trying to trace down an oil leak, you look for the fresh, wet oil. I mean, I know that sounds kind of stupid, but you can't see it from here. But right, that is the harmonic balancer, and then the belt, and then the oil pan bolts, right? In between there, God, this sucks. Man, I wish I could get you guys an angle on this so you could see the wet oil. But it's actually, I'm looking into the dampener. But anyways, see how it, kind of, it all looks dry up in there? But actually, up in there, God, you can see... You'll see it on your own car if you actually have this problem. Up in there, it's actually wet where the oil is dra or draining from, right? So we'll be doing that one next because that oil leak is not as manageable as uh, 
the oil cooler up here. I mean, this one's a pain in the ass to do also. Um, and this one goes out all the time. So what I'm thinking, like I said before, I believe that the, um, the engine runs so hot, the N55s run so hot, that if I lower the oil temperature here, right, the, the Mosul or whatever, I'll show you guys when I get it, probably part three, uh, they make a billet adapter here and the oil temperature stays cooler. So between that cooler, keeping cooler, and changing to this thermostat, which is 10 degrees cooler, hopefully I'll be able to get the car's uh, seals to live a little longer than they actually are, right? Like I said, this is a 204, standard's a 214. Um, and this is a factory part, or well, you know, same manufacturer, so. Uh, and if that one doesn't work, we're gonna get a 195 and we're gonna unbolt it, take those bolts out right there, and uh, we're gonna put a 195 thermostat in there, so. Actually, what I might do, um, maybe part three will be this. I'll take the one apart that's in the car and I'll pull it out, take it apart, see if I can get a 195 for this and just install a 195 in it. And a 195, you won't have a, you won't pick up a check engine light or anything like that. It's still way within parameters, just more performance based. So I don't like going down to that 160 crap. That's like old small black Chevy <laughs> kind of technology, you know, so we're not going to do that. Um, all right. Well, stay tuned guys and, uh, subscribe, comments, likes, dislikes, all that kind of stuff. So, all right. I'll let you know how I get going with it.